Generic greetings and welcome back to production line once again and that's a lot of parts we are ordering Oh, yep, that's uh, certainly a lot of things getting ordered anyway in the previous episode We managed to complete our three second car of three second production line should I say and As you can see we now have a little bit of a backlog on the output here But that's okay as long as it do doesn't back up more than here that means that Mathematically it's correct and that's fine That's because this is outputting a car every six seconds down to three seconds because of see that one there as well so six seconds six seconds divided by two three seconds which means if it backs further up then this is the problem and it means there's a problem with the module but there's not and that's why we are getting cars well out the door as fast as possible and also making a fair bit of money but we have an issue as you can see we've got a lot of uh, excess stock and we're even on minus 10% now so I don't know what point we actually are selling them at a loss which means that this entire thing this thing that we've spent a lot of time on and a lot of effort on really I don't know when that becomes sort of pointless <laughs> like if we're out putting these cars do we will we start losing like loads of money I, I really don't know either way we put this thing in, job done, it's working, fantastic. This episode, what we want to do is hopefully not go bankrupt, although I think that's going to be ine inevitable at some point. Um, and I want to make the the safest car we can. So if we go over to our our research here, we can scroll down, we see I've unlocked a lot of things. We've got a lot of the stuff like anti-lock brakes and reverse camera and things like that. We want to, we want to put, put all of these things in. And that should be good, but what we need to do really is, well, we need to do it in a bit of a different order than previously because you can see a lot of this says fit trunk. So I can't just, like, put the upgrade on, say, here, the engine assembly. Like, it's not there. You would have to do it at the absolute, like, bare level. So, for example, your seats, like heated seats and things like that. So you have to break it down even more. So that's going to be a bit interesting Thing to do and uh, oh, we're gonna have to reduce this car now to like say minus 20. Are we not shifting cars at all? Well, we're not. Hmm. There we go, we're shifting cars now. But, uh, you know, we can't really keep them at a 20% discount for too long. Although we're making money, so that doesn't really matter. Anyway, so yeah, so the next couple of episodes, we're probably gonna try and make the best. Uh, the, the most the safest car we can possibly do we could go for the lu most luxurious but I've got all of the safety stuff unlocked so I think that's why we'll we'll go with that one there so I'm just gonna up this a little bit back to 15 if we start getting extra cars then uh, that's that's fine we can store them and then sell them at a discount so let us work back over and we're gonna build around here I think think although oh, yeah there is some good resource supplying so we're gonna go so resource import one there one there can you hold shift and place multiples? No, you can't. Well, that should be fixed at some point, one would hope. Uh, we'll go over to a export, and we'll put one of the exports in... Well, we could put it here, but we'll now put it down there. And there we are, and then we'll upgrade that so it is now six seconds. So that's going to be our target. Maximum one every six seconds, although, to be honest, I'm not really too bothered how long, how long it takes to put them out. Maybe every ten seconds. Maybe we'll go for the quality check. Every ten seconds, we'll output a car. I think that's going to be sensible considering the amount of stuff we're going to be putting in. So, what we have to do is go down and see which of uh, what upgrades we're going to put on and what part it's on. So, for example, ev everything on this safety features list we're going to put in. Um, obviously, things like driver assistance, uh, that would be... Probably, I mean, driver assistance, like an auto steer headlights, you could consider sort of safety features. Uh, car alarm, not really a safety feature. It is a security one. I don't think there's there's probably some other stuff that you could call safety uh, rather than what it's in. Like you know, it probably probably straddles the uh, straddles the research tree really somewhere. But we'll go for everything in here. So we want lane departure warning system, steering wheel things like that so we need to check where there are so this is an auto a new upgrade which is anti-lock brakes which is in fit brakes this is in fit trunk that is in fit tires this is in fit seats fit wheels and fit door panels and that is fit seats so let's work back over so we're going to go from we're not doing electronics so fit accessories windscreen now we're not going to have um we're not going to have any uh, you know what's probably best if i put them over the this side, if we actually pull them over this side, it might be better because then we'll be able to fit more in. And we'll have them two off the edge because I think that's a bit better for routing. Um, so there we go. So there's that put in. So conveyor will come out. 
and then into there like so. So that only takes eight seconds, but by the time we put upgrades in, it'll be very, very quick. It's uh, down to six seconds. As I said, the objective is 10 seconds. Every 10 seconds, car comes out the door. Okay, so back to research here. Um, so we'll go down to this. So it's uh, doors. Actually, you know what I'll do? I'll check the parts. It's easier. Fitting seats. Ah, right. So I know that some seats... Uh, I believe fit seats. If we put seats in, we can actually get extra robots. Driver's airbag and passenger airbag. That's what we want. So we want the upgrades here. So it's all of our upgrades for speed. And then we'll come down and you can see it's driver airbag and passenger airbag. So we'll double check that. And it is driver airbag, passenger airbag. There it is. So that's the ones we want. So that's some safety features ticked off. So we'll buy that and then we'll buy that. And you can see that it does actually increase... The, uh, the the time of this, but that's not too bad. Like so that's uh, it says every five seconds. That one is every six seconds, and then ten. We could actually, if we wanted to, we could split this and have another quality check and put one out faster. But again, aim for ten seconds. I don't think that's unreasonable. Hmm. That is a nice cup of tea. So there's the windscreen. Then there's the seats. Um, have we done that in? Then we've got the horn, which the horn goes there, and then the lights. I don't think there's anything on either of those to really do. No, I don't think so. So we'll put those in, and the we've got auto steer headlights, as you can see, but that's not a safety feature. We're not we're not going for that. So um, we've got. Let's have a look. Lane land departure, spare wheel, reversing camera. Yeah, the car that we're making now, by the way, it doesn't even come with a spare wheel. That's how cheap it is anyway so these are all in that's fine that's pretty good so we will convey these up as you can see and we'll sort out the resource supply at some point uh, we'll put the resource importer there so there's all of our accessories so we'll go over to fitting the engine and now we have to worry about things like the column and the wheel so let's just double check here so we've got these airbags put in spare wheel is fit wheels lane departure is fit door panels i don't know why would be in there wouldn't it be in the wings or something anyway uh tires trunk and brake so actually we could probably just get away with the steering assembly which goes there and that's a 14 second job but when you give it upgrades it comes oh yeah, it goes to 12 seconds so actually we are quite underneath our uh, quite over our 12 second time so what we'll do we'll pull these out a bit like so and we'll do our um, next door next door job so it goes um like out like so and then around and back in like that like we've done previously okay and then we go for fit wheel assembly now we have to be we have to be careful here because if we put a wheel assembly down you can see we don't have the upgrades for everything that we want we're gonna have to fit it separately so we're gonna have to fit the brakes first which will go there all right because we can easily do that okay and the brakes you can see we've got anti-lock brakes and extra robots and cruise control and things like that but i don't know if we want that we do want extra robots on these and we also want anti-lock brakes, which is classed as a safety feature in this. So there you go, there's your anti-lock brakes. Excellent. So we'll move down to the next one. We'll fit the tyres, which is... How long is that going to take? Five seconds. Uh, you've also got tyre pressure sensors. Now, I don't know whether that is classed as a safety feature. It just says power some consumption and speed. Mm, let's have a quick look. Tire pressure sensors, yes, that is a safety feature. Okay, so we'll go for tire pressure sensors. There we are. And then we'll fit the wheels as well, which will go there, which will only take four seconds. And you've also got spare wheel, which I'm pretty sure it is a safety feature. We'll double check it. I've already upgraded, but I'm pretty sure it is. It is spare wheel, yes. So we've got the driver and passenger airbag. We've got spare wheel. We've got tire pressure sensor and anti-lock brake. So we need to work on now the exhaust, which is going to be four seconds. So that's a very, very quick job there. Actually, six seconds. We'll put that in. Um, just trying to... I'll, what I'll do is I'll stop where I am and just double check Just make sure everything is in the right order. So export, quality check accessories which is windscreen yes seats yes horn yes and then the lights yes accessories are correct so steering assembly we've got yes that's in there then oh hang on steering assembly and then wheel assembly ah but yes we've broken that down again which is brakes tires wheels brakes tires wheels then exhaust then exhaust yes then the radiator and then the 
engine assembly, which we can probably just put... We could break that down again, but we don't need to do any safety feature stuff with it. So we don't need to break it down again. This is why there's been a lot of comments asking like why you would break it down. Why don't you just put them all in a big row, like the, the the big main modules? Well, that's because you can only do certain upgrades at individual times. Hmm. Right, so uh, that is going to take 14 seconds, but we want just under 10. So what we'll do is we'll put two of them down and then hopefully... That will resolve the issue. So this comes down to there. This one turns the corner and then goes into there. And then obviously these all connect up like so. I could put them right next to each other, but I prefer the gap. There we are. So there's all. that's all I put in. So that is our engine. Uh, the painting is quite simple, I guess. It would be really drying the finish on this car. Which is, let's have a quick look, it is 21 seconds, well 21.85, so calculate 21.85 divided by 2 is 10.9, so it's nearly 11 seconds, so I think 3, I think 3 is not unreasonable, so I'll dry the finish, there you go, and obviously we need to put the upgrades on that, which you can actually see the fans, uh, you get more fans I believe, yeah there's a fan there, look, and then you put another one on, and you get another fan. <laughs> Because this one's just one crappy fan. There you are. There you are. Nice. Job done. So, I think eventually there'll probably be like a, like a select and selecting tool where you select them all and then you can do multiple upgrades. And then the paint is that's just 8 seconds, so it's uh, quite an easy task. It can go there. We'll buy that high pressure. Uh, undercoat will be very, very similar because it will... Do we need two of these? No, I just actually need the... Oh, no, no, we do want... Hang on, am I doing this right? No, that wants to go up by one. And then the dry undercoat will be the same thing. One, two, three. And then the paint will go there. That's correct, I believe. And then... That? That's fine. Actually, no, let's, let's, let's follow convention for reasons. There you go. At least we know that we're hopefully getting it right if we're doing it this way. And the uh, the age-old concern of have I got it right springs to mind. But uh, we'll only f we can only find out once we set this thing going, I guess. I don't have the benefit of video reference like you do. Only after the fact. Right, so there's them. Uh, that is obviously not connected, so we need to connect that up. Sorted. So there's the finish. Uh, let's just again double check here. So it was the engine assembly, yes, the paint. So it's dry finish, and then paint finish, dry undercoat, and then paint undercoat. Yes, that's all correct. So we'll go ahead and we will do this. You can see our money is hovering around the 13 million, so that is perfectly fine. As long as we don't go bankrupt, I'm really not too bothered uh, what happens here. In terms of winning the game, there's no real winning because it's it, it's really a... It's really a... If you're either, yeah, I guess it is a winning or losing. It's it's just a failure state. If you go back, if you get to zero money, dumpf, gone. That's it. Um, you know, but it's, so it's not about that. Right. So this is where it's going to be a bit more difficult. Um, we might have to fit the door panels and stuff separately. So let's just double check. So fit doors. We'll place that down and we'll see. Let's place that down and not right click. We cannot do any upgrades on that door, on the fit doors. So delete that. We'll expand it. And say fit wing mirrors, which takes uh, four seconds. So we'll just quickly upgrade that to three seconds. And then the one behind it is fit windows, which you can see is electric windows with extra robots. There you go. And that takes it down to just about four seconds. And then finally, you've got door panels, which is the one we really wanted. Which, if you see, you've got extra robots. One, two, three. And then lane departure warning system. So if we get that, I believe that was a safety feature. You have, there you go, lane departure warning system. What else have we got in this one? We've also got car alarm, keyless entry, and central locking. So if we go down, we can see we have um, car alarm, keyless entry, and central locking. That's actually all on the same one. So is it worth us central locking, car alarm, and keyless entry? Central locking, car alarm. That's all the, se that's all the security features. Well... We could make a secure safe car, and that's exactly six seconds. 
I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I think we, we were sort of think we, we were thinking about that anyway, weren't we? So let's go with that. Let's go with that. Um, fitting the roof. I don't think there's anything else to do other than just, just fit the roof. There we are. And that is nine seconds. So we will have to put some extra robots on this and hopefully it'll get close to six seconds. No, it's about seven. So we will put a, another roof assembly on it like so. Actually, that means we'll have to pull these back a bit. So the roof will be pulled back to there. And then we will do our typical along and then across and down. There we are. And well, look how far we've gone with this. Hmm, it's quite long already. Now, I know what a lot of people would uh, say is that uh, what, instead of what, what we could have done is use this production line and split it off. So you have cars coming off this line and we use them and then do the remainder. You are right, actually. That is the better way to do it, or at least it is a way to do it. So if you know that the first couple of parts up to here are about the same, then you just split the car off. But we don't really want to alter this because we know that this is functioning about right. So I don't really want to alter that. But we might change it later on because, well, it depends on how much money it's making. <laughs> It ain't very good if it's not, um, oh, good grief, look at all that. It's not very good if it ain't making money. So, let us check. We want to see, anti-lock brakes, yes. Reversing camera, no, but that's in fit trunk. Tire pressure sensors, yes. Airbags are in. The spare wheel is in. And the lane departure warning system is door panels. Yeah, that's in. So, what haven't we got? Anti-lock brakes is in brakes. Reversing camera is in trunk. We haven't got that. Tire pressure sensors, yes. Airbags. Driver airbags. Spare wheel. And lane departure. So it is it, it, it is reversing camera, I believe, which is fit trunk, which is in part of fit body frame. Where is it? There it is, fit trunk there. So we're going to have to split all of these parts up. So fit body frame will be vent, which we'll have to do this way. Then arches, just checking that each one of these does go down to about six, uh, 10 seconds we're aiming for, aren't we? Well, t 10 seconds is our, 10 seconds is our like real, as slow as it can be. But if you notice most of this, we've got it around about. If we get extra robots on this. We've actually got it close to six seconds. If we aim for six, we know that we can actually get more cars out of the door. Which I think is worth it. Let me just get some more upgrades here. There we go. Yeah, six seconds is what we've been aiming for ish. Ish. Let me just do a double bit do a bit of maths on this one. Twenty one point eight five divided by three. Actually is seven. Yeah, we've got a bit of a backlog in places. Okay. Well we'll do what we can. Six odd, six, seven seconds is fine. Um we can always change things on. So what was that? That was the arches. Uh, bottom trim is four seconds. Bumpers are what were they? Nine seconds. Oh, actually, we could with some upgrades probably bring it down to close to seven. Uh, close to seven seconds. That's okay. That's fine. Uh, so there's the arches. Uh, bumpers rather. And now we have the trunk, which is what we really care about here although what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate it round and start working along this side I think no do we put it there there's no problem with it being there because we're never going to output on there so that is extra robots extra robots extra robots and reversing camera so we have Reversing camera, yes. Anti-lock brakes, yes. Tire pressure sensors. Let's double check. At least we might as well check them all. There's some more research done. 
So, brakes, anti-lock brakes are installed. Tire pressure te sensors are installed. So, and we've just put the reversing camera in. Airbags are in seats. Uh, where is it? Seats. Yes, and passenger and driver airbags are in. Okay. Spare wheel is in fit wheels and then lane departure warning system. So spare wheel is... Hang on. Wheels. Spare wheel is installed. And lane departure warning system is in... It is in the door panels. It's already there, I can see it. And plus central locking key, car alarm and keyless entry. So it's all in there. Right, that's fine. That's what we wanted. And finally, we've got our reversing camera. So that's actually all of the all of the safety features really in that we wanted. So that's fine. So I'm going to just pull this up to there. That is the hood and then the roll cage. And we just need to check. That's about four seconds. That's perfectly acceptable. No problem whatsoever. One, two, three. There we are. Well, that's a body frame. And so it's... I hope this is correct. That's the body frame and then just uh, the chassis. Which the chassis, we could probably do again a breakdown. So we'll have... The extra robots on the fuel tank. That brings it just over... Well, six and a half seconds is fine. And then the undercarriage is four seconds. And then the axles, which I could break down, but I'm not going to. I'm instead... Or do I want to break it down? Mm, we could do. Axles. Rear axle. Ah, no, I don't think you can break it down. I think there's a bit of an issue here. Because you need to... It says drive shaft, rear axle, front axle. Oh, is that right? Oh, undercarriage first. I'm not sure. Hang on, we've got undercarriage. Fuel tank there. I'm getting confused now. Navigate, right, close that down. So, fuel tank. Let me just check the body. Fit body is there, but that should be the last thing should be roll cage, which is that. Yes, so the roll cage is in there. So, we need to go for chassis assembly. Let's just make sure we get this right. Fuel tank, one of. Done. Choose the robots. There we are. The next one is the undercarriage, which is four seconds, which will go there. And we'll upgrade that, like so. All right. And then we have the axles, which is drive shaft, rear axle, front axle. I hope this works. I have a feeling there might be a bit of an issue with it, though. I don't know why. That's not based on any experience. But, actually, no, it's not. There's just something that doesn't sit well. Hmm. Okay, well, we can only try it. We can only try it. Let's just connect it all up, and then we're pretty much done here. So that should be... That should be it done. So, stockpiles. This is where we... You know, just love the game, don't we? Right, so this will come out and probably go across and connect all those up. This one has got an issue with the stockpile, and we'll probably have it go across like that. Okay, and. I think we could probably manage this one as well. If I'm honest, there we are. This one over here will be connected up like that. These ones will have to go back over. Ah. No. These ones will go this way. Although, to be fair, there's a lot of resources that. All the resource chains around here, which I don't need. So that'll go to... I 
Maybe that one. Probably get away with that one. This one will come right down. And connect up those. Like that. And then we've got two others back here. Which sadly, we're not going to be able to utilise them as I really wanted them. Because of how close they are to each other. I didn't take into account the... I didn't take into account this. This goes in by one. The entire factory goes in by one, look. See that? So that's, yeah, so now we've got one. <laughs> we've got a resource conveyor just for, just for trunks. That's okay. Right, so on this side we have, oh, we have an issue with this side actually because we don't have any resource conveyors. Interesting. Okay, well, I guess we'll have to utilize this side then. Which is then going to connect it up because of reasons. There we go. And this one will go across. Connect up like so. And be attached to... Well, there's nothing down this side, so... Could cancel those. And have it on there. Because I don't... I think we had an issue around here, but... I don't know if this is a problem or not. Either way, that is our new model. Is it going to sell? Hmm. That is a nice cover. Uh, is it going to sell? And more importantly, have I messed up a part along the way? The answer is probably yes, but we will find out next episode. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what sort of things you would like to see built in this thing. I'm thinking about I don't know what car we can do next really um, we've got luxurious stuff you've got in-car entertainment speakers and things like that I'm really not too sure where to go from this one we'll see let me know in the comments where you want to go and what sort of cars and we'll uh, see what we can do we've already utilized probably half of our factory already obviously there's a lot of space in here um, that we just haven't that we've sort of I wouldn't say wasted but there is a lot of like gap there's, there's a lot of gaps in places but that's just it is what it is and we've also got a 189 cars waiting to go oh well <laughs> anyway let me know in the comments and we'll go from there thanks very much for watching take care and generic partings